Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss how we can send the emails from Outlook using Python. So Python is one of the uh, famous language for the applications automations. And here we are going to automate once you perform any specific task. So you will be able to send an email to the specific person or to the group of person, whatever will be there. Okay, it's completely. Automated, you just have to run the Python script and email will be triggered out. Okay, so how to start? So at the very first place, we need to install the Python libraries to work with Outlook. And for that purpose, to install the libraries, we need to open the command prompt. And if you open the command prompt here, you need to say pip install and library name is pywin32. I already have installed this, so it will say requirement already satisfied, but in your case, it will execute the this command and install the necessary files on your system. Once the installation is done, You can open any kind of text editor. Here I will open the Visual Studio code. And what you can do, you can write the code. So for very first place, you need to import whatever the package you have installed, whatever the library you have installed. So you need to import that, okay? So to do this, you have to use the word called import. And you can say win32, win32 is a model that we installed. Inside that, there is something called a client. So I will say client as win32. So I'm using alias here and I want to access the client, meaning the local application of this system. So let's say we are done with the importing. Okay, so here I will say com. And then, so this is how we need to write. So we installed uh, this win32, but with win32, meaning when, when we try to execute this command, pywin, in pip install pywin32. So uh, the it installed a couple of packages and out of that, I'm accessing the one package, which is called win32.com dot client as win32. Okay, so I used alias so that every time I do not need to write this complete word. Fine. Now we have to define what application it should access. So to do this, we will create one variable which is named as Outlook since we are going to work with the Outlooks. So I will say Outlook, sorry, here. I will say win32 dot and here you can see the lots methods out of that you have to pick the dispatch method inside of this dispatch method you have to pass the string to tell python which application has to access so I will say outlook dot application okay so this library will go and access this application from the system now once we are once we create the object of this outlook what we need to do is we need to create a mail so to create a mail what we can do we can use the outlook object i will say outlook dot and here we can say like this create item and zero. So zero is used to represent an email item. So meaning every time you have to create a new item. So in that case, zero is used. So I'm passing zero here. Once we have created the object, meaning once we create the a new email, what we need to do is we need to define the parameters. Like if I say mail dot, so you have to define the subject. 
what would be the subject of your email okay let me say like this so this must be in the text format so i'm surrounding this in your in the single quote as a text okay so i will say demo of outlook email fine then i will say mail dot next is you have to say body what you wants to write so whatever the message you, you would like to write inside this body you can write so i will say your message is ready to send now okay send it should be sent up once we define this body so you can define to whom this mail should go so i will write like this mail dot two and uh, i will pass my gmail address here okay then if you want to add uh, anyone as a cc and all you can add here but i don't want to add someone so i will say but you can write email let's say if you want to add the multiple email addresses for in the cc what we can do is we can add the comma and pass the sorry not comma we can add the semicolons and pass the multiple email addresses like this okay if i pass this and then if i pass this so like this we can pass the multiple email addresses so far i don't want to do this now next is if you want to keep someone in the bcc so you you can do the similarly but i don't want to pass anything but i define these objects okay. now our email is ready but let's say you may want to add the attachment okay so what we can do we i can say email dot attachments dot we need to add the attachment and here you can pass the path path of five even you can create the a separate variable as a files or whatever the name you you wants to use you can use here i can say path okay so i will uh, i will add one file to this email Let's see if I pick this path. So either you can change this uh, backward slash into the forward slash. This is going to work. Otherwise, you can use double backward slash. Both are going to work. So let's say in case if it throws error, you need to change this back to the double backward slash. That is our escape character. So this is my folder and. Uh, here i will add the path file name as a webcham.py so i am going to add this file whatever the file whatever the code i am writing in this file i am going to add that file in the email once i trigger the email so this file will be picked and i will say file i will pass the variable here as a file okay so any kind of file you can attach to your email with this so next is once everything is done, we need to send an email. So you need to say mail dot send. So these are the functions. So send function will trigger the email to specified recipient. Okay. So in message, I'm not going to write a lot, but you can write the multi-line string also using triple quotation. And that is going to work now i'm going to execute this code so to execute this code from visual studio code we have run option here on the right top corner so just run this code and let's wait until it get finished
Okay, so I need to might be I need to close that file. If I okay, so it says yes. I will say yes. So there was one pop-up, that's why it, it was waiting. So now if I come, so you can uh, see only one item at 1 14 p.m. today I sent. Okay, it has not picked the attachment because it was opened. Outlook block access to the following potential unsafe attachment. Okay, so it is blocked, but yes. If you uh, change this, so you will be able to send the attachments also. So let's try with the attachment also. Let me open my files. Okay, recent folder, recent opens. So this is what my file. Instead of this, what I will do, I will pick another file so that it will, it will not throw this kind of issues. So I will add another file, which is of type PDF. So you need to specify the file names with its extension. Now, if I run this, so you can see that it has sent another email with the attachment also. Because so earlier, the whatever the file I, I was trying to attach to this email, it was open. That's why it has not picked. But yes, if the file is, is closed, it will pick the file and the email will be delivered to this specific recipient. Okay. So you need to write the code in this way. Here you can see the full code to automate your outlook to send the emails. If you want to write message on multiple lines, what we can do is we can write like this. Meaning if you want to create multi-line string, obviously you need to use the triple quotation in Python. So here, I will add the signature like this. I will say thanks and let's say web jam. Okay. And now if I run this, you can see that another email with the message. So this is how you can send the emails to a specific person using Python. So that's all about the sending the Outlook emails using Python. I hope you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do not forget to share the videos with your friends so that they can also do the, their automation. They can also automate their tasks.